Hare Krishna. When we limit our challenges, we can challenge our limits. All of us have certain limitations and all of us have some spirit to take up some challenges, to do something which stimulates us, which makes us fight against ourselves, to endeavor to improve. So now, uh, there are some problems which we like in the sense that they stimulate us, they invigorate us. And those are the problems that we can see as challenges. And there are other problems which we see simply as burdens. Now this depends on many factors. One of course we could say is an, our basic attitude. But it's not just attitude, there's also aptitude over there. If we are good at something, say if somebody is an intellectual, they like to read books and then they have the opportunity to read something which is very intellectually challenging and fulfilling, then they, be, they look forward to it. So similarly, for all of us, if we consider this point that we want to grow in our lives, then we need to find out how best we can grow. So we need to limit our challenges. And that indeed is, was the principle of Varanashram. Uh, the purpose of Varanashram was that people can be allotted the problems that they would like to face, that are according to their strengths and that they can see as challenges. In 1841, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna states, Brahmana Kshatriya Visham, Shudranam Chaparantapa, Karmani Prabhivaktani, Sabhava Prabhavair Gunai. says that, Brahmana Kshatriya Visham, Shudranam, these four human types, how are they? Karmani Prabhivaktani, that this division is according to the work. And work, Sabhava Prabhavair Gunai, according to the Qualities born of one's innate nature. So when a Brahmana is asked to do intellectual work, the Brahmana is stimulated. When a Vaishya is given some opportunities to invest and get rich returns, they are stimulated by that. So all of us need to see what it is that we are good at. What it is that we feel good doing. So basically external competence and internal comfort are indicators or pointers toward our innate nature and the qualities born of that nature. When we limit our challenges, that means we don't spend too much time doing the things that we are not that good at, uh, but uh, focus on those things which are important for us, which are important for bringing out our potential. Then what happens? We can challenge our limits better. Whatever limits we have, we feel stimulated to push against those limits and to improve. And because we will see ourselves improving, we will feel inspired to move further. And thus, the whole process will become uplifting and self-transforming. So rather than trying to change everything about ourselves, we can focus on that which we are innately good at and uh, focus our life's primary energy in that direction. Then we can make worthwhile contribution externally and find meaningful satisfaction internally. Thank you. Hare Krishna.